Okay, in this Blender tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to make wind. So, default cube, you can use it if you want, but in this case, I'm not. I'm gonna go ahead and use UV sphere. So, we have this nice little UV sphere here. Let's, okay, so what you do, you go down here to the physics button, and you go to this one, the one that looks like a ball bouncing off a plane, like of the line. So, you press fields, then you go on this one, you go to wind. I'm going to put my strength about 30. I'm just going to put some random fall offs. Max this. Max distance. Min minimum distance. And so we have some wind there. Now, to show that we have some wind, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a plane. And I'm going to go to side view. And we're going to make that plane three times the size. And then we're going to go to the top view. And we're going to go to edit mode. Subdivide it a few, just subdivide it a few times. That looks about good. Now I'll go to this button. You know, this button. And then you go new. One of the your vertex groups, new vertex group. And then you assign it do this a couple times just in case it doesn't want to do it. Go to object mode. When you're not object mode, you go to weight paint. And you, well, the whole thing's painted, so what you want to do now is you go down to the physics button. You do the same one you did with, with the sphere back there. So, we go to you know, we go to clock. And I'll just have it on. I don't really care. Just kind of leave it like that. So I'll go, you know, I'm going to hit Alt A. And as you can see, we have this nice little claw here that kind of crumples itself up like, kind of like a real one would. Now, I know you probably wouldn't want this to crumple up like that and look so. 3D and like unreal. Well, what you can do is you just kind of mess with these settings down here, blah blah. Um, if you want to set it smooth, blah blah. Just kind of looks a little bit more realistic. And now that you're done with that, you can go ahead and make the wind stronger and everything. So, I'll be seeing you on my next tutorial.